guys welcome to MNMM plants and pets today's video is about care tips of one of the most famous plants and that plant is called Rio plant Rio is the most common name few people also call it Rio plant and it is also known as Stradiscantia spathesia plant which is a very scientific name so let's not get there uh, I would take it Rio for my entire video Whenever we discuss about the care tips of any plant, the first thing comes to our mind is what is the correct soil for that plant. For this plant, the soil is no different or no special. Our normal garden soil with a little bit of mixture of cow manure or any manure should be fine for this plant to survive, grow and become very healthy. If you want, what you can do is you can add some cocoa peat inside it and you can straight away pot your uh, plant inside that. Uh, mixture or you can straight away plant your pot inside the potting mix whatever suits you the best is okay for this plant but there is no special requirement for this plant in terms of soil mixture a well-drained soil is very important for this plant because this plant does not like a lot of water around it so if you are not sure how to make your soil mixture a proper well-drained soil mixture what you can do is you can add some sand inside the mixture let's say 20 30 percent of sand mixing the soil mixture with a sand will make it well drained because it will not allow the water to be there inside the pot and it would allow the water to easily flow outside the pot and kindly make sure that the pot has holes so that it is very easy for the water to make its way outside the pot. The next tip is water. Water is very essential for this plant but Overwatering this plant will be one of the reasons that this plant will die because this plant does not like a lot of water. The best tip is whenever you see this plant, I mean the soil of this plant dry, only then you should water it. What I have seen in Rio plant is the leaf of the plant will start uh, what do you call it will just start wilting like this and then it will just uh, shed that leaf and that is uh, one of the indication that the plant is giving you that stop over watering me the next important feature is the light and the correct positioning of this plant if you have planned to plant your rio plant outside the house then you have to make sure that you plant it in the shade of a big tree or you keep your plant in a shade area where it is not receiving direct sunlight at all this plant is another good indoor plant so if you're pl planning it to keep it inside your house that's not a wrong decision you can keep it inside your house provided it is receiving bright light and also it is receiving fresh air it would do great if i give you my example the rio plant it does not like a lot of cold atmosphere so what i did was in the winters i kept my rio plant inside the house but the moment it started getting warmer and the summer season started in I kept I shifted my Rio plant outside but in a shade place because summer is the peak season season or the growing season for this plant and in summer if it is getting a lot of warm air but not direct sunlight your plant you will see thriving and growing from all sides of around Fertilizing Rio plant a lot is not a good decision or an idea but fertilizing it once a month I mean liquid fertilizer is okay and as you know that always I mention about seaweed fertilizer because that's the easiest for me so what I do is I give my Rio plants once in one month or sometimes once in two months I give them some seaweed fertilizer the best time to fertilize your plant is always before the season it starts growing and in this case just before the summer you should fertilize your rear plant because it needs a lot of energy to grow and I just fertilized my plant in the month of November now I will fertilize it again in the month of January or maybe February but I have to make sure that when I'm fertilizing my plant it is not a very hot day I have to make sure the temperature is in 20s or below but definitely not more than 30 only then I should fertilize it because fertilizer itself is very warm and if I feed my plant with a lot of fertilizer on a hot day it might be too much for the plant to take in and it will die so what you need to do is you have to mix the fertilizer with cold water and give it early in the morning or in the evening when the temperature is very low and make sure that the plant is in the shade area only also sometimes you will see that your rio plant might have some fungus in it or it might have mite attacks or pest attack in it and how do you come to know maybe there is some hole or uneven hole inside the leaf of the plant or you will see the the easiest way to track that is this color purple that you see 
it starts fading and it you will see that some part is dark and the some part of the plant has yellow color now instead of the purple color if this purple color looks abnormal to you and it is not very dark lush purple that means the plant is sick and as you can see over here this is the disease on the leaf of the plant now how can i protect my plant from once it has got this disease most of the time the disease comes because it might your plant might have not got a good flow of air or it, it, it is receiving a lot of water so if let's say your plant has got fungus or anything like that how, what should i do number one is you can make a liquid medicine for your plant that will help it uh, from these pests and mites. Now what is this liquid actually? You can take water and the water has to be cold. In the cold water you can add one spoon or one teaspoon of turmeric powder in it along with coffee powder. Now because this plant is not something that we consume it is safe to add the tall hand wash liquid or you can add any uh, hand wash liquid that you are using let's say four or five drops of it and you can properly mix the liquid and you can just spray it thoroughly on every single leaf and branch and stem of this plant and that would help the plant to fight against the diseases that it is having and if there is any plant that you are consuming for example basil then you just need to remove the soap the hand wash liquid that i told you and you can stay or stick to the turmeric powder and the coffee powder because turmeric powder and coffee powder it really helps the plant to fight against the disease so you can spray this solution on any plant you have the rio plant is not very expensive plant i still remember that i bought one plant around two years ago and from that one plant i have created around seven to eight rio plants out of which i have gifted a few to my friends and families around and what I do is I always propagate the Rio plant make it a bit bushier and then I gift it because this plant it is one of those plants that you can gift to anyone because it does not require a lot of water or a lot of care so gifting someone a plant which does not require a lot of water is a good idea because then that person doesn't need to take much care of the plant these plants are super cheap they will they will be easily available under ten dollars and you can definitely buy them I would highly recommend all of you to buy a Rio plant there are two reasons for it number one it's not too much care and the second is the beauty of this plant because if you see this plant the top region is green in color which is no special because obviously most of the plants are green but the moment you look on the other part it is purple color so it has these shades and there are a lot of varieties available for this uh, Rio plant and this color this purple color is the real beauty of this plant and which looks very good to me and this combination of purple and green is the real reason that people buy this plant and I would definitely recommend this one for all of you now propagating Rio plant is very very easy so if you have bought one plant you can make tens and hundreds out of one plant trust me right now you can see five I think I have another five in my backyard and I've at least gifted five to six to my friends and families so I think I made 15 at least from one plant of Rio now what I would do is I will show you what I normally do let's take an example of this plant as you can see the Rio plant this is the main stem but there are two small babies coming out this is number one that as you can see this is number one and the second one is over here this is the second baby now all I need to do is I just need to break it from here and for this one I need to break it from here and I can straight away pot it inside the potting mix there is no need to put this cutting inside the water you can straight away put the cutting inside the potting mix in the same pot because as we discussed that this plant is not going in direct sun so this cutting will not die there is one more way of propagating the Rio plant and that is while I was planning to shoot this video just one of the leaf I just broke it by mistake now what I can do is because let's say it is from here so if I have this leaf I will just cut it like this and now I can straight away plant this leaf inside the potting mix if you want you can keep this leaf inside the water as well but what I have observed is even by putting it straight away inside the soil mixture it will give you roots in one to one and a half weeks time or sometimes it might take up to two weeks and easily a plant will be ready but if you want a faster growth a faster propagation then prefer growing it from the new nodes or the baby nodes instead of leaves and you will see a lot of 
rio plants around you and this is one of those plants where where if you have a backyard or a garden what you can do is you can plant it in the in the shade of a bigger tree and it would really give a very good look and just make sure that if you really want to keep them happy just don't overwater them and there is honestly not much to do about this plant and they will do magic for you if you like this video please hit the like button uh, if you are new to my channel and you are visiting my channel for the first time or maybe a couple of videos you have watched you can hit the subscribe button if you haven't till now and you can also hit the bell icon for the latest updates and if you feel there is any question you have regarding this plan you can post it in the comment section below and i'll definitely get back to you with answers of the questions